being patient, I told some great jokes while you guys shared that. Thank you. 
has that sort of one year to get um, actually having some kind of resident truth. Yeah. Um, yeah, the world is still there. It's actually really popular online. My Instagram, I think your hashtag, and so many people are still like talking about that watch in the neighborhood. The most fun is I just go with a lot of Again, it carries, it's quite iconic. It just goes with itself to the community. And it carries the pictures of that and you and work and glory. And uh, we're using to that. Well, as for this part, she's actually weathered. It's kind of tired of this idea of kind of fake glory. Um, and of something, of a hint of gold, you know, a hint of glory, just a glimpse, not passing the true thing. Oh, I love that. I love that she's had fake glory as well, which brings me back to the LA exhibition. Um, yeah. There's, there's, to me it feels like there's a few things that people always ask about. One of them is this little tiny doorway. People who've never been here before really think that we have a little like tiny doorway that you have to walk through. And then I explain like this was the artist's digression and this is what she envisioned. It's really a normal doorway. We just lowered it. So talk to us about. Welcome to Dreamland, where that came from, why you wanted people to like crouch down in like a magical doorway. Yeah. Explain yeah. more like those ideas. Yeah, we really got planning in the show. Um, I just had a good thing that we did. Like one particular day, for some reason, I was just really excited to tell what I really wanted to uh, transform space. I didn't just want to put up the I wanted to make it prime and dry. It's just this early one of us up here. And um, there's this place in England, by the sea, on the market, which is really kind of run down, um, not the type of place you really, I used to go to the city. It's kind of cheap, it's a little way of getting away from the city. Um, and there was a thing on it, and I'll brush my business in there. <laughs> you know, but it was like a really hard dance that was called Dreamland. And um, but, but the thing is, when you went there, it was called Dreamland, but it was so not Dreamland. It was like the opposite of what you imagine Dreamland would be like. Anyway, I thought it was like the even though it failed so badly at being a dreamy, it was even it was um, the opposite such a Dreamland. So I thought I would um, I thought I was going to have a good show. And then I also wanted to know that, you know, when you go to big parks, there's often an end height restriction. You have to be a particular height to get in. Do you remember that? Yeah. Like, for example, if you're not going to be off for ages, but obviously when you're a child, you know, you'd be a whole lot of money to be tall enough to be in there. And so I wanted to flip that and make it actually, you have to be small enough to get into this place. Um, and kind of play with the whole kind of um, Alice in Wonderland kind of vibe. Just, just play with that idea that actually you have to know yourself, like know um, yourself, and kind of in some way you have to interact to the church. Yeah, and then the musical installation. Where did that come from? And why did you want to put that in the exhibition? So that was, um, again, so, um, some of the drawings that are not from the exhibition are connected to several new work. Um, I've just played the also in the theory of the echo of the natural, yeah, the actual echo, but also just practically um, all of the echo of sounds, echo of the echo of the echo of the echo of the echo of And like I said, I've been fascinated with this, and I just, I love it, uh, I love expressing what I'm trying to say through different means, not just 
the nice things her here, and mum helped me out with something like painting the lungs, and she said to her, Johnny Bond, and she said, um, she knew about this, this interval being connected to this kind of imbalance and harmony um, between two lungs that makes them kind of like magnetism, like makes, makes them want to finish to repeat back. Um, and that just seems perfect to fit in the whole idea of the longing for something lost, but and the longing for something in it. Um, that's almost inherent. So, yeah, it's it perfectly. It's all going to be quite Great. And then, so, when you came to Los Angeles, and now you're back in London, um, there was an inspiration that you gathered while you were here. I'd like to know, like, where you see the work going. If you, you've been traveling a lot for the past year, you're dealing with the series that's around the idea of paradise, and paradise is different for many people. Um, but you're tapping into like a very specific idea of what paradise is. Um, do you see those ideas changing as you're traveling, or the world changing? Yeah, the she's like the thing changing. No, the work, like how you want to go about things. Because I just love to, you know, get all the fun things, um, which may be a bit of But I'm really excited about sequence. And the more that I try, I'm just having been to Vegas, um, well, Miami, Phoenix, and LA just recently. It's obviously London, but there's a similarity in all these places actually, because they're cities, and because so much of it comes around entertainment. Um, and entertainment, which is this thing of paradise, I'm kind of seeking for fantasy, thinking of fantasy. Um, so, yeah, that really attracts me. And I like, was just in my park, and we've got a little bit of a big ocean. Yes, just vision. I was in that night when it was all lit up. It was just beautiful. Um, so the light, the light, it's really interesting. You know, me or my friend had to be. Um, that's really exciting for me to explore. Um, the sequence, which I think is a hint in the Japanese that I would love to be connected because I just think they're beautiful. They're um, just interactive by you know, just sitting there. You're interacting with them just by walking past because they're being affected by you. Um, so that I find really pleasant. Just that it's in some ways a version of performance. Well, and what, what other things are you thinking about working on with that game? Are you going to stay with the Paradise series for a while, or are there other things that you're working on that seem a bit different from this? Well, yeah, I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to care. It's not interesting to me. Um, and obviously, I feel like I'm one of the people that have been here as a big thing, and I feel like it's a really um, hot topic at the moment. Um, so I've always, yeah, that's something that I want to care. I don't want to see just the whole thing of the world would really interest me, and care is something to be part of that. And um, so that's definitely something that will we'll come up with at some point, try to get to grips with that, try to understand it. And I feel like for me, art is a way of grounding other with the things. So, at this time, I'd like to open it up to anyone in the audience that actually have, have a question for Laquena, who we can't see them if they're in here. Is there anyone who'd like to ask something or has a question for her? I would like to move the computer so you can see them in the air. Everyone's being shy. <laughs> Freehand, or does she actually take it off? You know how she does the oh, wow. lines. So there's a lady that just asked about just passing through. How do you actually go about 
about me and get it on. Is it a free hand? Would you take it off? Or? I just take it off. Yeah. Oh, that's
that express something that I'm not saying, and then I'm just putting that back on it. Um,
And yeah, thanks for coming. Thank you.